Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Burning Issues. It's been a couple of weeks, uh, I was climbing or hiking Snowden last weekend, weekend before work was uh, was pretty busy, which it is right now, which I'm extremely grateful for, of course. It just means sometimes things, uh, things slide like this. Today uh, is Easter Sunday in the UK, well I suppose elsewhere as well, and... Something that I was just thinking about this week was about the people that I have around me, the the inner circle, the the close friends, that kind of thing, and actually how important that is to to you as a person. So, you know, when you've got the right people around you that respect you, that uh, are positive influences, are kind-hearted, are loyal, trustworthy, um, respectful, all the kind of usual terms that are banded around but when it all comes together and you have those couple people and often there's a handful I may have talked about this before but I remember reading many years ago 2012 I think it was because it was at Tesco at the time and um, there's an article called Justin Bieber and back then he obviously he's famous now but he was really in his kind of peak and the article was like couldn't believe all the or the journalist rather when he said he only had three or four friends, they're just like, what? That's ridiculous. You're Justin Bieber. Like, surely you've got loads of friends. But I think now at this stage of my life, almost turning 31 in two weeks, you do start to realize that. You know, there's a lot of people that I am very friendly with and would class as friends, but really that kind of inner circle, the people that I speak to most, the people that I um, hold closest and dearest, um, is a small number. And it should be a small number because... Quite frankly, it's exhausting to be able to, to try and keep, you know, a, a large number of people in the loop or close or what have you. Um, so it is really important who you choose to be in that circle because, you know, they say you can't choose family, you can choose friends. Well, if that's the case, which obviously it is, then choose your friends very wisely. People that will challenge you, people that... Um, are always there for you, will drop whatever it is, if there's something that is important to you that needs doing, you know, small things, people that, you know, I've got the inaugural Watch Market Golf Plays charity day, people that will help you with that, whether it's a small donation, whether it's actually just helping out with ideas for your business, whether it is just pushing you to get into the gym, whatever these people are doing or helping to push you to be a better version of yourself, and again, that's a word that's banded around, but effectively, anything positive, so if they are pushing positive attributes, keep them around. If they're keeping you into negative attributes, maybe have a think about that. Um, but as I say, I just reflected upon this this week. You know, some new people have entered the fray. Some old people have not exited the fray, one would say. But maybe people change and time change and people move on. And there's nothing wrong with that. As I say, you know, I'm very friendly, as lots of people are, lots of people. But that inner circle um, is a closely kind of monitored uh, people that are, that sounds really wrong, but they're people that I really respect, trust, are loyal, inspiring is another big word for me, um, in many different ways. You know, and it's not all financial related, it's not all people that are just successful in the traditional sense of the word. It's just people that are good to have around, kind-hearted, just nice and genuine and sincere. And when you've got those people around you, you do notice that the the world seems to open up. And when you've got the wrong people around you, um, the victim mentality, the negative people, the naysayers, all the rest of it, you easily get dragged into that. So if you can't pick your family, you can pick your friends, pick your friends wisely.